Um, okay, a uh, quick demonstration of network location awareness and uh, how Windows identifies as being on the domain network. Um, so I've got my client here, I've got Zscaler Client Connector running, internet security is up. Um, and this isn't the normal situation you'd be in. You'd, you'd generally bring your laptop out from hibernation. The network would come up and things will just happen. Um, but uh, this kind of shows a little bit of what's going on under the hood. So ordinarily users can't disable private access, for example, um, with password protection. Um, and so what I'm going to do, um, let's... Um, get net connection profile it says I'm on the public network and this is the same as coming into my network and firewall protection or looking at the inter the, the network adapter um, I'll just bounce between two pages to refresh it. it says I'm on the public network um, and so if I turn on um, ZPA um, the important point again this isn't normal operation but uh, if I turn it on, there has been no material network change as far as Windows is concerned. So it doesn't reevaluate any of these settings. I need to run a, a restart a network adapter. Oh, Ethernet. Ethernet zero. Um, that takes down the network adapter, brings it back up again. Um, Zscaler client connector will obviously see that. Um, there has then been a material change. Um, the operating system says, sees there's been a material change, and it says, great, I can now see the domain. Okay, And the reason it can see the domain now is A, because Zscaler Client Connector is up and running, but B, because as far as my, um, this is the local security policy that's come down through GPO, um, under, uh, network network um, connectivity status indicator says that the domain is determined by the fact that it can make an HTTPS connection to this internal server. There are a couple of other options you can make. I prefer this one. It's not only a DNS resolution, but it is also a TCP connection, and that happens through ZPA. Okay, um, for a better segment or whatever. Um, so th that's the way that that's working. Um, the domain is up, um, and we see the, the connection. Now, the interesting thing is, again, if I turn this off, and I turn off uh, ZPA, um, again, no material change has been made to the network connection. So I, again, need to restart the network adapter. I should have passed it that as a parameter. Um, ZIA will change or whatever, but you'll see here now that it's identifying and it'll identify as being on the public network. Um, so it's important to, to re remember that Windows only reevaluates this when there is a network change. Um, ordinarily, your laptop will come out of hibernation, ZPA will come up, ZIA will come up. That is enough of a network change anyway it's come out of hibernation or you've changed Wi-Fi adapters for Windows um, to reevaluate. Um, so I'll turn this back on. Um, again, I will bounce the network adapter. And we are uh, once the whilst it's uh, identifying Zscaler client connector will come up and it sees I'm on the on the domain and then I can do um, I could do something like uh, klist uh, get http apache.welshgeek.net and you see it went off and got all its Kerberos tickets I can do a nl test uh, slash sc underscore query welshgeek.net and it can see that it, it got to the domain controller. So uh, fundamentally, you know, uh, you've got to configure network location services to be able to uh, tell Windows how to know if it's on the domain or not, number one. Number two, ZPA needs to be up. Number three, if um, ZPA comes up, for example, after the network adapter has come up significantly 
um, after the time it's taken for this active connection to happen. Um, you might need to bounce the network adapter for it to trigger um, the fact that uh, um, there's a material change and push that through to uh, uh, the operating system to figure things out and then route that through um, Zscaler private access. Um, hope that's useful. Cheers, mark at zscaler.com.